All right, and a preview for the Challengers League. Patro and Abyss looking to be a pretty good teammate with a very, very good looking car. Grippy and with some acceleration. Sunset Sandstorm looking pretty good as well. Um, Asni, great. Serenity dropping off a little bit, maybe losing a bit of interest in the Challengers League once they get to CL or SL, but you got to impress in this one to do a Game on Goose, your favorite for another repeat winner. Yes. All right, Monza qualifying the front row lockout from HPF. As expected, LTR right up there as well, but Asni down in 10th, so not the uh, start he was looking for. All right, six laps of, Monga, of Mon Monza. Imangus making, making the best effort to make it Manga. Way out in front to start. Aussie Gustin for LJT. Really great start on these hard tires using the slipstream to stay right up there in the mix. Oh, Serenade shuts the door on the pass. Farrell looking to get up there into the mix as well. Great passes on Patro and Marion Frias. An abyss up there with LTR in second place. Nandi and Asni and Vlad in for tires early on. There was only a couple who pitted that early. Oh my god, Marion Frias and Patro. In a tangle off the track, a bunch of people getting onto the grass. And there we have our leaders pitting Osti Ghostin. Staying out on the hearts for one more fourth lap. I don't think that's often a great idea, but maybe in Mons a shorter track, less corners. The hards are significantly slower, though, in all of these straightaways. Really struggling that last lap there, and oh my god, he gets pushed ahead by K Mongoose for another lap. I don't know if that was intentional to stay out or what but man he's gonna get chased down by abyss now 90 went for the uh, one stopper with the second set of sauce maybe not the best way to do it Asagasin has no choice but to stay out for one more and here comes Nandy Goose almost catching Hakeem to put a lap on him. He'll take the win, Abyss. And then the double Sunset Sandstorm coming around in 3-4. Marion Free is grabbing a P5. Wow, here's performance off to an amazing start. And then the double 3-4 finish from Sunset Sandstorm. They're looking great, but... Uh, it's hard to compete with uh, this outmatched HPF team. We're off to the UAE next. All right, Game on Goose is expected on the pole again. Asni this time for Sunset Sandstorm. Up on the front row with him. LTR following. Aussie Ghost and another good showing. Pharaoh, wow. Can really get the most out of that Franz vehicle. All right, we're live. In Dubai. Patro, good start, and Asugasin as well. This getting passed by Hakeem. And Serenimate and Smalls make the charge as the Franz falls right off the pace real quick. Great battle from Asugasin and a great pass on Patro there. Trying to get it back. Hakeem all the way up into fifth place now. Marion Frias needs to defend off the track. Ussi and Hakeem both falling down the order a little bit. Came on Goose at a two second lead right now. Into the pits. Ooh, 
really good chase down on the back straight. Game on Goose is back into the lead. Probably looking at a two stopper. Patro and Asni gotta get fresh mediums on. Asni goes for the softs. We got some strategy at play now. Here come the hearts from Marion Frias. Smalls has gotta get into that slipstream and get into the pits. Nope. Goose for one more set of softs. Still doesn't even get past on those doing the undercut. It's going to be tough for Marion Freeze to keep that defense against Pacho because here comes Ossie Gostin on the fresh softs. Game on Goose doing the same thing. Just flying by. One more lap to go. As me. They're all nicely in line here on the final lap. No one really giving in charge to Game on Goose, but we do see Asa Gosen closing the gap with better tires. Gonna steal a P4, yes. Gonna steal a P3, maybe. One more turn. No, just in the back of Marion Freeze and not quite enough. That's the way it's gonna end. Okay, that wraps up our race in Dubai. Game on Goose first place. The fastest lap goes to us. It goes to an excellent race. From the Rapid Junior Team driver really making a claim for himself as the new number one as Twist takes the back seat all the way back down and 15th Leslie Fari still not scoring a point. As the end of P2 for the uh, Drivers Championship. It's a good race in there for second place. But that's all that's up for debate this year. Brazil up next. And wow, what a surprise. We've got Smalls from CR9 up on the front row with Game on Goose. What a Saturday. Platinum up there with Little Snowflake. It's really their time to shine, I guess. Jake and Farrell with the Fronds. we got a Scuderi Minicaro. Marion Freeze all the way down in P10. The other guys, Sunset Sandstorm, not as high up as usual. Interesting qualifying in Brazil. And we are racing. <clears throat> Let's see if they can keep up the pace in the race. Smalls and Platinum into the lead on the better tires for the time being. Asni, though, making a charge on hearts. Twist up there for RJT as well. When do we, the question is, see Game on Goose just take right over and pass everyone here. Smalls dropping back into fifth. Unfortunate, but still a great position to be in for CR9 right now. Only their second year in the game. And here comes Sparrow charging forward and Osti Gostin. Jake with the fronds, Hakeem getting into the top 10. Getting everything they can out of their vehicles twist into the pits. The only one in the top 10 to do so. Jake takes a pit as well and goes for the mediums. Needs to make the mediums last four laps, but they do not want to go four laps. They're barely getting three laps for Game on Goose here, Platinum 5. Going to make the pass on the very worn sauce. Asni staying out for a fourth lap on the hearts. Going to get way ahead here. Going to take four laps on the hearts and two on the softs.
Game on Goose opts for hearts for the last three laps of his race. Interesting. Interesting choice here. Twist taking the two-stop strategy. I don't think it's ideal. Just too much time to make up here. Asni's going to have two laps of softs remaining. And here we go, Platinum 5. Just got to hold the lead for one more lap. Got a decent lead on Game on Goose. But here comes Asni. Not really gaining on Game on Goose yet. Oh, there it comes. We're going to have to see the difference in the turns. Marion Free is definitely falling off the pace. Twist on the charge too, but here we go. Asni is caught up to Game on Goose. Passing for second as Platinum 5 is going to get a win for Little Snowflake. What an amazing drive and strategy there. Asni taking the pass on Game on Goose. Smalls in for a P4 with CR9. Great race for Camry Racing. Platinum 5 with the win and the fast lap. Game on Goose still on the podium and still well ahead of the uh, constructors, I'm sure. No fear in his mind for this season. It's a 12 point lead over Asni. Going into one last race. What an awesome drive by Smalls. And that uh, Bobcat Racing expected to be low, but maybe not this low. Franz doing okay in P7, though. Camry Racing really impressing with P5 right now. Our last race is at Le Mans. All right, in Le Mans, another pole for Game on Goose. Patro up on P2 with Marion Frias in third. Osigosen really looking great. For RJT as well, but uh, Sunset Sandstorm not as much. A little bit further down the grid. Faro looking really great in that Franz Motors, though. Um, if he can continue to impress and improve, he'll be in a Sunday League seat before you know it. And we're away in Le Mans. Game on Goose way out in front. Patro falling down the pace a little bit on those hards. I don't know. They only last three to four laps. People are going for the two-stopper. I think might be the smart way to do it. Small is looking great in P6 right now. It's the HPFs out in front to start, though. Asni. Coming on, chasing down. Marion Fries doesn't quite have the grip, though. As Pharaoh is able to stay just in slipstream range and keep racing strong on those hard tires. Will he have enough grip to go one more lap, though? Or will the two stoppers prevail as the only strategy? I just don't see another lap happening on those hards. I am curious what the mediums decide to do. Mediums in after two. If the mediums switch to hards, it could be a death sentence. No, nope, going on to the softs. Okay, here we go. Patro, Serenine, and Faro all went for the third lap on the hard tires. They are losing quickly. Yaman Goose going for uh, maybe a two stint on the mediums. As a better choice to the softs. Everybody's in, and Goose keeps going. And there, Marion Frias also up into second place. So, Asni looks like he might be trying to send the hards to the end of the race. And they are going to be absolutely shot if he tries to do that. Smalls making a break for it, climbing the ladder quickly, up in fourth. Alright, looks like Goose is going to try and get the mediums all the way home. Might be a mistake. And Asni might be able to close in on him. 
as the grip is going to be fading really, really fast. But now before, oh, Twist and Serenadator off onto the grass. Mirian Frias gets by both of them. Twist is in really bad shape there on the worn hard. Serenadator just trying to get by him. And this will give room for Pharaoh to make a move as well. Marion Frias very, very fast on the two's top strat. And Patro's by Asni for second. Okay, it took a while, but not much grip left. The Marion Frias does have some. There's nothing left on those mediums from Game Mongoose, but he's way ahead. Five, six seconds. Here comes Marion Frias. Passing Patro for second. Asni dropping off a bit. Small is looking for the pass on Serenade, able to do it. Pharaoh going to try and do the same thing. We know Game Mongoose has the win, and he passes the finish line. Marion Frias well into second. Pharaoh could not chase down. The rest, Smalls with a nice P5 for CR9. And that's it. Game on Goose and Heritage Performance, your Challenger League champions. Fast lap posted by Marion. Pacho grabbing the other podium. Surprise results from Camry. And the good overall performance from them. Asni with the P2 over Marion Frias. So well done on that part. And Small is ending up fourth overall. What a campaign from him. Big, big margin of victory for Heritage Performance and double champions as Game on Goose gets stuck in the Challengers League for another year in a row. It was unexpected, but that's the way she goes. Asphalt Racing disappointing, only 19 points on the entire season. They're going to have to regroup and improve. Skip and Suwasid stuck at zero racecraft for the season. Nowhere to go but up for ART.